Hey guys, quick tutorial on how to locate and install and configure your EP software for configuring your or flashing your ER9X transmitter. Okay, so with it, let's just get into it. Okay, so just navigate to 9xforums.com slash wiki. Don't worry about all the stuff at the end. And just hit enter and it will come up with this main page, right? So what we want to do is scroll down this page and we'll find this section here, flashing your 9x radio. Let's click on that. Now in the little contents index here, we've got to go to section 8, choose and install your flavor of EEPROM editor. And we're going to stick with EP for today. Right, so download, I've got Windows. Um, basically with Linux, I believe all, it all comes standard with the source when you install Linux and same with Mac it's already installed uh, but if not you can find it here okay so we'll check on the Windows one we'll download it or ask me for permission to run it because I'm running Vista um, click on agree we'll close down this browser in the background click on next and I just leave it to the default uh, program file slash EP and then install and it takes a couple of seconds once it's installed go next and then we'll leave leave the box tick we want to launch EP okay so it's going to it's running the EP now so on the right hand side here there's a little blue cog that does the configure button so you configure and this configures all your AVR dude configuration which basically this EP program talks to AVR dude which is a very powerful text based program which loads the direct instructions to the processor that controls your transmitter which we're going to be flashing in other tutorials okay so just want to double check that this location for the AVR dude is correct or it will fault out straight away so just browse and scroll through the program file slash EP and look for avrdude.exe if it's there great if it's not you need to locate and find it but by default it, when you do the installation of EP, it will install avrdo.exe, which is great, isn't it? Okay, so cancel that because that's all cool. Like, load your programmer in. Um, there's bucket loads of programmers, Arduino, all sorts of stuff. Um, I've got the USB ASP, so I'll leave that on there. Uh, your MCU, you want to set that for M64 because it's an Atmega64 processor that's running this, the the T-Rex for the Nine, nine channel Turnigy, Urgle, Flysky, whatever your flavour is, same thing. And port Vista and Windows 7, leave it blank. Um, if, especially if you're using a USB programmer. If, if that doesn't work, then you can find it, but normally there's a problem problems, especially with Windows 7, assigning the USB port. Okay, so don't do that. Just leave it blank. Alright, leave the arguments alone. Click OK. Okay, that's the configuration basics done. Now we'll move on to the actual when you're doing the um, importing to your programmer and, and things like that when you're working with EP. Click on File Preferences, and by default, normally it sets itself up as this uh, as um, RETA, okay, which I never worked for me, so I moved it to what I had my helicopters all set up on which is AETR which is aileron elevator throttle rudder okay so that's your channels one two three four right so mode two leave all these boxes ticked for st um, checking updates because it because there's always new updates and stuff so when you actually open EP it'll automatically check for latest flash files for ER9X and also the latest EP file um, and software installation versions because there's sometimes bugs or these also all great little um, things that they implement the guys uh, the developers implement into this software okay we can see the current version that's available and that's ready you can click on the um, version to download now if you've just done the basic either smarty parts board up uh, mod and bolted that to the to your main board or you've hardwired it to a cable that's fine 
this is the one you just want the basic vanilla ER9X um, and there's a whole bunch of other options you can do the more technical you get and the more additions you can put into this great transmitter um, you know there's things like um, fry sky uh, telemetry there's just bucket loads of stuff okay so I've just got the normal vanilla flavor you can check for downloads uh, for the latest versions and it's sweet as it checks the server automatically but when you open it it does that too so just go and click OK and that's great thanks to the developers Erez Raviv and his team of dedicated talented developers and programmers unfortunately I don't have the skill set for that but um, I enjoy teaching people what I learn so great Thanks guys and thanks for watching and we'll tune in soon.